Well, uh, today, as you know, Caleb is doing an amazing job since he's come on and, and he's running the, um, the, the worship experience. And so I promised y'all would have you out by 1130 today. So Caleb told me, that, Pastor, there's no way you can preach um, and be out of here on time. So today we have a very special guest speaker today that's going to be speaking to you. If you will, please pay attention to your screens. Thank you. You're watching the Edison High School graduation ceremony, sponsored by the Edison High AV class and Guido's Pizza. Okay, everybody, okay, everybody, settle down, settle down. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Edison High School graduation ceremony. <laughs> we especially want to give a shout out. That's what all the young people say. Whoop, whoop, raise the roof, let the dogs out. We want to give a shout out to all the people, all the family and friends that are watching this live at home on Channel 3. Yeah, welcome, everybody. Hello, Mom. We, uh, we were going to have the Senator, Warren Van Landingham, going to be here to, uh, you know, speak to us and encourage you young people. But because we decided to televise this, the expenses kind of went boop, 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 boop and uh, we uh, didn't have enough money to get the Senator. But don't, don't worry, I hear some groans. Don't worry, don't worry. I've got our very own Coach Dunsky who's going to come out here, rally the troops. We're not going to leave you. Okay, all right, I have to give you a proper introduction. Yeah. I need to give you a proper Let's do it. All right, all right. Coach Dutsky, everybody. Coach Dutsky, take it away. All right, everybody. Thank you. Uh, bring it in. Take a knee. No, all no. Right. Everybody's in the chairs. Everybody's... It's kind of my thing, all right? My thing. Okay, okay. Take a knee, everybody. Take a knee. All right? Let's do it. There you go. All right, you think better that way. All right. It's time. Yep. It is time. All right? Look out over this uh, this year's graduating class. I see a bunch of sizzle. I don't see any steak. I see a bunch of quesadillas. I don't see no dias. I see a bunch of uh, Destiny's Childs. I don't see no Destiny. All right, you kids don't have a Destiny. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You do. You do have destinies. Everybody has a destiny. Everybody has a purpose, all right? And it's up to us to go out there and find out what it is. I think that's what the good coach is trying to say. Is that what you were trying to say, coach? Is hey, what, what I'm trying to, to say is you need to stop interrupting my wisdom dispensationism <laughs> here, all right? Why don't you drop down and give me 10? <laughs> He's got a sense of humor, doesn't he? He's got a sense of I'm humor. I'm not joking. But I don't think Good I down. should. I'm not, okay, here I go. Okay. All the way. Your push-ups look softer than puppy poop. All right, class. Listen up. It's time, all right? Time for uh, Coach D to give you his uh, graduation gift. All right? Here's what you're getting this year. Three Dunskyisms for life. Three things I want you to recite every morning while you're pouring yourself a bowl of Raisin Bran and Gatorade. All right? These are Dunskyisms for life. You're welcome, all right? Dunskyism number one, grow up, all right? For example, where is he? Right here, Brian Upshaw, yeah, you, all right? Son, you've been giving other students wedgies since the seventh grade, all right? Because you don't feel good about yourself, right? This is some weak attempt to feel like a big boy, all right? You know what? It's called bullying. Bullying, not okay, all right? I think it was the, uh, the great American poet laureate, uh, Russell Crowe who said uh, the things we do in this life that go throughout eternity, all right? And Brian, your wedgies are causing wedgie screams that are going to echo in your ears for all eternity, and you don't want that. You need to grow up, son. Why don't you take a lap, okay. right? <laughs> Just take a lap. No, no, no. Brian, sit down. Okay, go ahead, sit down. All right, sit next to your grandma. Okay, I, I, think, I think what the good coach was trying to say there, Brian and everybody, is that we have gifts and talents, and we got to go out there, and we got to embrace and grow up and find out what those are. Don't let any obstacles stand in the way. You got this. Is that what you were trying to say, coach? I think that's what you were trying to say. Like what I was trying to say is why don't you get down and give me 10 more. Oh, no, I really hurt. 10 more push think, I don't think that's... Okay, here we go. All right. Don't schism number two. Time for change. Todd Sanders. Son, you are the best point guard I ever coached. Oh. Love you, son. And, uh, but it's time for change, right? It's time for change. And, uh, it's time somebody told you, uh, Son, you've been sporting an unconscious mullet for the past four years, all right? 
Yeah, it's, it's time to cut that thing off your head, all right? And, uh, yeah, look, I know I, I hate to be the one, but somebody needs to shut that party in the back down, all right? And I know, I, looking out at your family today, I realize this is apparently a familiar thing, all right? That is, my stars, that's an entire family of mullets right there. Especially, hats off to your grandpa. That thing goes all the way down to his knees. Sir, nothing but respect. But uh, you need to... All right, apparently that's your grandma. Uh, ma'am. Uh, anyway, uh, your sweet, salt-of-the-earth, fragile grandmother just made my point. It's time for change, all right? And uh, Dunce gives him number three. God. Okay. All right, okay, I see what you're doing. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You cannot. No, sir, no, sir, not on my watch. What? No, what did I do? You just said God. You cannot say God. All right, okay, you're about to say, hey, kids, young people, God be with you, God, go with God, God is watching you like the song, I get it, okay? And I think that's great advice. I love God, I love Jesus, yeah, there's nothing more to say, hey, look what God did for you, let's give our life back to God, but we can't talk about him here, okay? There's a separation of church and state, that is a pink slip with my name on it, all right? And I just bought a timeshare in Boca, we are not going to end with God. I think you just did, Boca boy. Hot mic. I was going to say, Godspeed, you know, on your journey, be careful, make good choices, but I like the way you ended it, it took guts. Well, there you go, all right, Godspeed, everybody, go out there and Godspeed and, and go get them, all right, let's hand out some diplomas, all right, I'm so fired, here we go. Take field. First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 11 says this when I was a child I taught like a I thought like a I reasoned like a but when I became a I put away the ways of childhood behind me now that scripture there is a little misleading because what it is saying there is it's saying we should put away our childish things but how many of you know if there's one big kid in the room how many of you know I'm him raise your hand and say ah because the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, it's a chapter about love. And it's a chapter about love is, is, is not jealous. Love is, is kind. Love forgives. And so the Bible tells us that, how many of you got some mean children? Raise your hand and say, I, I have three. Uh, they don't like each other. Um, this past week, they let us know that. Um, they had war before they took off to Osceola. I don't blame them. Somebody say amen. And uh, every, every one of them told me three or four times, we don't like her. I don't like her, I don't like that one, I don't like this one. I, I, and, and so we, we had a, a, a group hug. How I many of you know that doesn't work either? If you know that, raise your hand and say, I, group hug, please, y'all like each other. So the Bible tells us in one way, I want you to always be a child. I always want you to have fun. I always want you to be able to dance. I always want you to be the people that uh, walk and, and see a mud puddle, and then you just jump and try to hit somebody else with it. Somebody say amen. I mean, I, yesterday we were on this boat, and it held like 18 people, and it went really fast. And as we went by this pontoon boat, that childish side of me said, hey, why don't we go over there and flip it and, and just turn it and just wet those people water? Because how many of you know the pontoon boat can't catch you? Somebody say Amen. I always want you to be that way. But what the Bible's talking about is putting away childish things is the way you love people. The way that you love people. Don't be a child. Don't be like the ones that says they have this and they have that and they have another one. Grow up and love the right way. Number two, there is, must be a time for change. Somebody say time for change. For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 through 8 says, there's a time to be born and there is a time to... How many of you are looking forward to your death? Raise your hand and say, I. Okay, please shoot that person. Amen. Anyways, the time to plant, the time to harvest, the time to kill, and the time to heal. The time to tear down, the time to build up, a time to cry, a time to laugh, a time to grieve, a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace, a time to turn away, a time to search, a time to quit searching, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to mend. A time to be quiet and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. How many of you know that most of us in our mind, we just, we, we think life should be one way. If you believe that, raise your hand and say aye. 
I mean, there's some people, they just, just be peace, peace. Look at your name and say, peace. Give them a peace sign. Come on, son. Amen. Some of y'all, you know, you used to do that stuff and make you peace out. All right, anyways. And uh, some of you still do, I'm sure. But anyways, the Bible also says there's a time to war. The Bible says there's a time to be born and then there's a time to die. One thing about being a graduate, one thing that you've got to understand is that timing is everything. And the problem is timing continues to change all the time. There's going to be times that God says stop, but that doesn't mean God always says stop. If you believe that, raise your hand and say aye. Does any of you understand what I'm saying today? So many of us, we get in such a box and we say, this is what God wants. This is what God does. Can I tell you something? There may be a time God's calling you outside to do something even greater than what you're doing now. Does anybody in this room hear me today? Amen. But if you're so used to your comfort zone, if you're so used to your box, if you're so used to being uh, stuck and says, well, this is what God does. I hear people all the time, well, if God wants me to move, God will move me. No, he will not, folks. There will be people their whole entire life because they didn't understand timing. They didn't understand how to ask God, God, you lead me. God, you guide me. God, you direct me. Because of that, so many people, so many, 95% of people will die with a song inside their heart because they don't understand timing. So you will always be able to get money. Somebody say money. But you can never buy time. And you have to understand from the bottom of your heart that there is a time for everything, and you have to be very careful about it. Number three, Godspeed. Somebody say Godspeed. That means you go do it. You got to race. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 says this. Do you not know that we are in a race? All the runners run, but only one gets the prize. Run in such a way to get the prize. One thing for all three of you that I want you to do is I want you to flip and win at this game called life. I don't want you to walk through it. I don't want you to have regrets. I don't want you chasing your dreams. I don't want you going after whatever you want in this life. God has amazing things he wants to do. And so today, me and this whole entire church, we pray God speed upon you. And we ask God to do amazing things in your life because, listen, it's time for them to go do amazing things. How many of you know that? Say amen. amen. I beg people all the time, go after your dreams. Go after your How many of you besides me have, have kind of slacked around and not done that? Raise your hand and say I. Amen. amen. I'm tired of that. I've asked God to move me past that. I've so enjoyed um, the last week just sitting down and writing a book I should have wrote. 20 years ago come on somebody there's a message that every one of you got that special message that just you have and you need to go tell it and you need to live it and you need to know God has great things for you if you love these graduates so they give them a big hand clap all right as they bring the house lights up I have a very special gift for each and every one of you today Amy would would you please come up right up these stairs right here. Y'all give her a big hand and she's coming. Amy is going to be going into criminal uh, justice field. Um, she wants to go, go, tell them exactly what you want to do really quick. A detective. A detective, all right. And, and what you're going to do is find where church members are on Memorial Day weekend, amen. And uh, I'm just kidding, just a little joke. So today I thought it would be befitting to give a investigator um, probably what they're going to need most. So today, we got two gifts. Number one, the one she's actually going to like, which is money. Somebody say amen. amen. And number two, ramen noodles. Because as a high school graduate, I can promise you, if your mama cuts you off, and she probably won't because you're the apple of her eye, and she's going to give you whatever you want. But if she did, trust you me, when you graduate high school, you're going to be hungry. So we want to tell you we love you and we care about you. And uh, thank you and happy graduation from us. Y'all give her a big hand. <laughs> Courtney Amison, court, court, come on down. Give her a big hand today. Yeah. Courtney wants to be a school teacher, and uh, one special gift I love about her more than anything else is the group of kids that she wants to teach. She could teach anybody. She, she's had an opportunity to teach in Jones County School System. I don't know how many of you know this, but um, Bibb County School Systems do not have the greatest reputation in the whole wide world. If you know that, raise your hand and say, I. And most people look down at them. And, um, and Courtney decided this year, had the opportunity, if she wanted to, that she could have taught in Jones County. But she chose to go to a school where they don't have very good teachers. And she chose to say, I want to go 
teach the kids nobody else wants to teach. And how many of you know that's very special? If you believe that, say amen. So today, I know that those schools don't have people who give out anything. And so today, I got two things. School supplies, some pencils for your little children, and a big check. Will y'all give Courtney a big hand? I love you. I love you. Mm. Last but not least, last but not least, a very special young man graduated from Jones County High School, Mr. Timmy Love. Y'all give Timmy a big hand today. Today is a very special day. He is wanting to go into the military. Um, that is something I was scared to do. I'll be honest. I don't admit that to many people because I like to tell you I'm fearless and I'm scared of nothing. I was scared. I want to serve my country. But I was scared. I was scared of a couple of different things. I didn't want to leave my mama. Come on, somebody. Uh, I didn't quit breastfeeding until my mama died. Amen. I'll be honest. It was horrible. <laughs> She ran the show. Um, I had a pastor one time tell me I need to cut my umbilical cord for my mama. And uh, Sabrina said, amen, I promise you. And uh, it was amazing. So today we got a couple of things uh, for Timmy today. How many of you know, um, I, I heard all these war stories, and that's the reason I didn't get in the military. Like, How many of you ever watched Full Metal Jacket? Raise your hand and say, I, I was scared I'd be Powell. Come on, somebody. Remember Powell? And uh, so I couldn't do that. But from the looks of it, and I've never been to basic training, he's going to need a compass. How I many of you know that? He's going to need a compass. Now, uh, because he's smart and he went into the military, he ain't going to need no money. Um, so we're going to put his into the tithe fund today since nobody came to church. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. So, um, so today, uh, uh, we choose to give him uh, these special gifts. Give Timmy a big hand today. Amen. <laughs> Stay with me. So today is Memorial Day. Today is Memorial Day. Um, today is Memorial Day. A day to remember the sacrifices that, that God's gave. Timmy has been with me longer than anybody else uh, besides Michael Lee in the room today um, since he was a little bitty baby. And I would, um, my sleeve got messed up. Um, I go watch his little karate things. They kick boards and stuff like that. He's just a little kid. And to see him grow up and to be the young man that he is going to be, a young man of greatness, a young man who's going to go do something that I didn't do, and probably one of the things I wish I would have done, but I didn't for whatever reason, fear, scared, so today, I couldn't get this flag to do just right, so I want to also honor you for what you're about to do. We've had a couple of young men there on the screen today that come out of this church that um, right now are doing the same thing, serving their country. How proud we are for what these young people do to serve a country to be willing to give their lives. I hear idiots who don't pay attention a lot of times talk about, oh, well, they're just doing it for this or just doing it for that. That's people who've never been there. They've never walked that. And so today, Timmy, I want you to stand by this flag. If you will, put your hands on your heart. And let's sing this together. Just my children and my wife Thank my lucky stars To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men Day. 
From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee, across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston and New York to LA, there's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say. Today, cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. And I'm proud to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the men. There ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. Lord. Please keep your hand on him, lead him, and guide him. God, let him go do everything, Lord, I was scared to do. Let him live a life, Father God, Lord, of service to you in this country. God, never let him. <laughs> never let him forget me. Never let him forget how much he's loved. Lord, I thank you for people who are loyal, faithful, more when I don't deserve it. People who have stood with me and my family in this church. I want a lot of people did. And that's why it'll be great. And that's what our military is all about. Loyalty and service. Thank you for this great man of God. Stay with him. Use him in Jesus' name. Everybody say it. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand clap today.